Hi, I'm Mark Champion, one of the team behind SQL Monitor. We have recently released version 6 of our SQL Server monitoring and alerting tool, SQL Monitor. And I want to show you what's new, what's great, and how SQL Monitor can make your job easier. In version 6, we made it quicker and simpler to diagnose the cause of problems affecting the server. The main changes you will see are centered on the server strip instance overview, which we get to by clicking here. In the previous versions, the information was displayed across a variety of screens, and it could be fiddly to jump between them to get the information you needed. In version 6, we've brought all that information together into this one server overview. Starting at the top of the page, there's an overview graph showing four key metrics for this server. CPU, memory usage, disk I.O., and weights. These can all be turned on and off like this. We can also baseline any of these based on the previous seven periods. By default, this graph shows the past 24 hours of data. But if you want to look at longer or shorter periods, you can, like the last six hours or the last two days. And of course, you can rewind to a specific point in time as in the previous versions. Another thing you'll notice that underneath the graph are small circles. These indicate alerts that happened over your selected period, and they're color coded according to the severity. If I hover over a circle, I get a brief description. And if I click the circle, I can see the details for that alert in this right hand side panel. I can now directly clear the alert from here or jump straight to the alert settings. This makes it easier to clear and tune the alerts as they arrive. Having the alert information on the same page as the metrics gives you an additional context so you can better understand exactly what was going on with your server. You see in the graph there's a highlighted window in white. This is the focus window. We can move it around or resize it to use in the handles. Everything below that graph now updates to look at just that narrow window that we've selected. For example, I might want to take a look at this spike in CPU from this morning. The four graphs below break out those metrics further and let you see some finer detail which isn't visible in the main graph above. All the other metrics you'll see below are also tied to the period selected in the focus window. So first we have top queries and top weights on this tab. I'll come back to the top query section in a moment. But scrolling down or using the navigation on the left here, we can see various other metrics you'd expect from the previous version, including general metrics, processes, the error log, and databases. We can click on any of these databases here and see the full details of the database appear. Jumping back up to the top and going back to the top queries list, we can see another new major enhancement. If we choose to look at this most expensive query, we can see a new query plan button. We automatically pick out the expensive operations and you can jump to them by clicking here. Also, we pick out certain warnings for you. For example, we show that here is an operation with no join predicate, which is the reason that this query runs slowly. And it can be used to understand how the query could be rewritten better. We'll also warn about other things like missing indexes and give you the script to create those indexes. Version 6 of SQL Monitor now helps you get the answers to a whole range of SQL Server problems in a faster, easier and simple way. Try it for yourself by clicking the download link in the description below and get a free 14 day trial. If you have any questions, feel free to email sqlmonitor at red-gate.com. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe.